I guarantee that you are losing money by not doing this one thing in the markets. And that one thing is performing multiple time frame analysis. And as the name suggests, all that is is looking at several different time frames before you enter a trade. And it doesn't matter if you're a stock trader, a crypto trader, Forex trader, you should be looking at several different time frames before you place a trade. And this is extremely important. And I see tons of beginner traders not doing this and they trade off of one time frame, and then they get surprised why their trades aren't actually following through in their direction and making them money. You could think of it as, imagine you were driving a car without your rear view mirrors, your side view mirrors, or your headlights. Are you going to be able to drive the car? Yes. However, you're gonna be completely unaware of your surroundings and what you're looking at. And in certain times, it's gonna be pretty dangerous. I mean, imagine merging on the highway without having your side view mirrors, right? You're not really gonna be able to do it. It's gonna make it way more dangerous. And I will say at times, you're going to be driving completely blindly. And the same thing applies for multiple time frame analysis. If you're not looking at several different time frames before you enter a trade, you are literally trading without side view or rear view mirrors or headlights, right? You're kind of trading completely blind. You're not aware of the overall trend. You're not aware of the overall perspective. And as a result, it makes your trading super dangerous. It makes you lose money. Uh, it can lead to blown accounts. So, and this is something that's really easy to implement, right? This isn't rocket science. It's a pretty simple uh, easy kind of trick to implement into your trading. However, you have to be disciplined enough to actually do it every single time you enter a trade. So let's talk about what multiple time frame analysis is. And as the name suggests, all that it is, it is looking at several different time frames before you enter a trade. So we're gonna be looking at some examples on exactly how this works. We got the whiteboard, I got a marker. We are continuing on with this boot camp with the old fashioned style of teaching. And we're gonna make these videos a little bit more informal. And I'm gonna to try to teach you exactly what you need to know if you wanna become a profitable trader in 2023. These are all the same concepts. I'm not just talking about multiple time frame analysis. This entire boot camp is gonna go over exactly what my own father taught me and how he mentored me throughout my own process of becoming a profitable trader. So let's get right into it. And the best way to show you how using multiple different time frames works is to show you an example. So we're gonna get the whiteboard in use. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the three examples I drew. So we have a current time frame, we got a lower time frame, and we got a larger time frame. So the idea is you wanna be looking at several different time frames before you enter a trade. And the general rule of thumb is to always look at one time frame below the one you're looking at and one time frame above the one you're looking at. So we got the current, the lower, and the larger. What's going on in the lower time frame? We got a downtrend. We are looking bearish. What's going on on the current time frame? We are uptrending and we're looking bullish. And maybe you're looking for a long opportunity. You're looking for an opportunity to buy and get in to this trade on this current time frame because it is in an uptrend. Larger time frame, what is it doing? We are in a downtrend. So lower time frame and larger time frame in a downtrend. Current time frame in an uptrend. Are we going to take this long position on the current time frame? Yes or no? Make sure you pause this video and think about it. And the answer is extremely obvious. No, we are not going to be taking this this setup. We will not because the lower time frame the higher time frame are in a downtrend. They are not aligned with the current time frame, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for alignment. We want all the time frames to be telling us the same information. In this case, it's not. The lower and the larger are downtrending. The current is uptrending. We are not going to take this position. All right, let's look at the next example. All we've changed is now the lower time frame is uptrending. So the lower time frame is uptrending, the current time frame is uptrending. However, the larger time frame is still downtrending. I want you to pause this video and think about what are you going to do in this situation? Are you going to take this long position? Are you going to be buying on the current time frame? Pause the video and think about it. 
So this is a little bit trickier than the previous example. And the only thing we've changed, like I said, is the lower time frame is now trending higher. So we have alignment with our lower time frame and our current time frame. However, we do not have alignment with the larger time frame. And this brings up a very important point that we need to emphasize. The larger time frame is the more important time frame. It's going to show way more emphasis. So we always want the larger time frames to be aligned with our current time frames. Otherwise, we don't take the trade. So are we going to take this despite the lower and the current time frames are aligned and uptrending? No, we're not going to take this because the larger time frame, the one that's actually going to show that greater emphasis is not aligned. It is still downtrending. Okay, so we are not going to take this trade. Okay, let's look at this example now. Lower time frame, uptrending. Current time frame, uptrending. Larger time frame, uptrending. Are we going to take this trade? Pause the video and think about it. And this answer is obvious. Yes, we're going to take this trade based off the information presented because we are aligned. Multiple time frames are telling us the same information. Lower time frames saying that we're uptrending, we're higher. Current time frame, we're uptrending and higher. Larger time frame, we are uptrending and higher. Therefore, this trade we will look to take because we have that multiple time frame alignment. And as you can see, guys, this isn't difficult. All this literally requires is you being disciplined enough to check the different time frames before you enter a trade. Because I guarantee you, if you start checking the time frames before before you enter a trade, I guarantee that half of the trades you take, you're not going to take them anymore because you realize that either the higher time frame is not aligned or the lower time frames are not aligned. We need alignment. That is the magic word, alignment. Now, we have another situation that is actually very interesting. In this case, our lower time frame is downtrending. However, our current time frame and our larger time frame is uptrending. And we already talked about that the larger time frame is the one that shows greater emphasis. It's way more important in terms of establishing what the overall trend is doing. So what do we do here? Pause the video. I want you guys to think about it and really try to interpret what the situation is and the options that you have as a trader. Okay, very good. So here's the deal. Larger time frame looks good, looks higher, perfect. Current time frame looks good, looks higher, perfect. However, what do we do with this lower time frame? So you have several different options. What you can do is pass on the first opportunity to buy and get in as a long and wait for the lower time frame to correct itself. So let's write correct. So we wait for it to correct before we get into the trade. And what I mean by correct, I mean, I mean is we wait for it to enter into an uptrend, right? So we wait for this to actually end up going into an uptrend and then we hop in the position. Another thing that you could do is, let's say you really like this setup, you really wanna get in long, you think it's gonna go up, you really like the quality of the strategy that you're playing here, you like the setup. What you could do is get in half of your position, your total position, now when it's currently downtrending on the lower time frame, and then add the rest of your position, the rest of your size, after when the lower time frame did correct and it is in an uptrend, okay? So, or you could also pass on the trade entirely because maybe you're thinking, hey, I need lower time frame alignment. I need this to be in an uptrend if I'm going to take this as a long. And in that case, you just pass on the position and you find a trade that actually is aligned across all of the time frames. And as you can see, guys, not very difficult to do. You just have to be disciplined enough to check it. And remember, we are looking for alignment on the lower, current, and larger time frames. So that begs the question, which time frames are we going to be using in trading? And this kind of depends on what you are trading. So it's going to depend on whether you're trading stocks, crypto, or Forex, and whether you're day trading versus whether you're swing trading. So let's start with day trading, and we're going to start off with day trading stocks. So let's do day trading, okay? And we're going to start off with stocks. Cool. So first and foremost, when it comes to day trading stocks, 
you always want to keep an eye on the daily chart and on the hourly chart. So those are the higher time frames in this case because those higher time frames are going to give us a bias on what the overall trend is and it's just really important to always keep an eye on them especially on the daily that's like the main time frame i am looking at when it comes to uh you know identifying support and resistance figuring out what the overall trend is so always look at the daily chart okay that is very important now Depending on the time of day it is, because remember day trading, we're exiting and entering our positions within the same day. Um, it depends what time it is. So if it's 9.30, let's go ahead, right? 9.30, you're gonna be looking at the one minute and the two minute charts, okay? And that's gonna last until around, I would say 11, 11.30. So let's say 11 a.m. And this is Eastern, by the way, guys. So these are Eastern times, uh, Eastern times. This is gonna last until 11. From 11, you really wanna be focusing on the five minute chart, all right? Um, probably until like 12.30. I'm gonna do five and actually a bit of the 15. So partially the 15, so but mainly the five. And then uh, when it comes down to uh, 12.30 to close, I would look at the 15 minute chart and the five. However, the 15 minute is the one that is most important in this case when it comes to 12.30 to the close. Um, and this is for day trading stocks. Honestly, basically the same thing applies for day trading crypto. You could honestly look at all these time frames For crypto, maybe, uh, let me erase this real fast. I got a sock, we're gonna erase this. But when it comes to crypto, all right, when it comes to crypto, so let's do day trading crypto. Cool. Sorry if my uh, uh, handwriting isn't that good. We're talking about trading here. We're not talking about handwriting classes. So let's, let's continue on here. So crypto, um, you're, you could focus on the five and the 15. That's like for day trading for sure. So five and 15, but mainly, you're going to be focusing on the four hour chart, the one hour chart, and the one day chart. Those are the main time frames that you're going to be focusing on when it comes to crypto. In terms of day trading um, and taking your day trading entries, um, it's going to be probably five, 15 minute. And if you want to establish that bias, it's gonna be the four hour, hourly, and daily. And remember guys, don't shy away from using a bunch of time frames, right? You don't need to just use three. I know I said before, you wanna look at the lower and the higher time frames, but you could even look at two extra higher time frames, right? You could look at that four hour and you could, and you could look at the daily, okay? It's not gonna hurt you. Looking at more time frames will only benefit you, okay? So that's what it is when it comes to day trading crypto, and this also applies to Forex. These same times apply for Forex. Um, okay, so crypto and Forex, these are the times. Now, let's talk about swing trading. So let's go ahead and do that. Swing trading. All right. Swing trading. These time frames are gonna are going to apply for stocks, crypto, and forex. So it's gonna be mainly the daily, the weekly, and entries, the one hour time frame. So daily weekly to establish a bias right and the one hour time frame for entries and this is going to apply for you know stocks crypto and forex like i said and this is swing trading so these are the time frames that you go that you're going to be using write this down on a piece of paper make sure you're checking the time frames before you're entering any single trade and i guarantee if you guys start doing this immediately you will start having way less losers just because you're actually going to be identifying what the overall perspective is. I mean, a lot of the times you guys are entering in long when the overall trend is lower. How can you expect to succeed if you're buying it when it's actually moving lower, when it's in a downtrend? It doesn't make, make any sense, yet traders do this all the time. You want to avoid this. And the best way to do it multiple time frame analysis it is easy just look at several different time frames i already told you the time frames you should be using so as we continue on in this boot camp i don't want you guys to not be looking at time frames always be looking at time frames 
and this is going to apply for every single strategy, every single principle that we're going to be talking about in this journey. So I hope you guys found value in this video and I hope you guys like this new style of video. It's gonna be very informal. It's gonna be, you know, be me straight up just lecturing y'all. We got the whiteboard, we got the marker, we got the desk, awesome. So see you guys in the next boot camp video and hope you guys learned something. Thanks.